Oh damn, and Hirohito just peaced out for all of China. So it begins the anime Bollywood Wars. Honestly, I would actually love to know what that would be like. So what if India started off independent in 1936, as well as what if they were a world superpower? And I don't think this is that far-fetched, uh, kind of. I mean, we've seen China have really good games, so why not this region right here? I mean, considering the amount of territory they have under their control, and obviously they have a shit ton of manpower, usually the best thing we can hope for out of this country is just some civil wars. And obviously I wanted to change that. And of course, you know, I'd assume they'd have some resentment towards European powers. So yeah, I definitely didn't want them to be a democracy. I'm really kind of hoping the Middle East will band together and form that Sadabat Pact, because uh, this new enemy in the East is going to be kind of tough to stop. But then again, I I'm going to assume that they're on a mission to see all the Bobs and Vaganas in the world. So they can invade in pretty much any direction. It's barely been six months, Japan. Come on, already starting shit. Damn, yeah, this is actually way too early. But maybe they're thinking they have a new member for the co-prosperity sphere. That'd be pretty awesome. Well, I, I don't know. I think attacking over this way for the AI is kind of now off the table. Unless they do actually join a faction. Oh, well, that's going to be really helpful. Didn't even think about this. Wow. That's kind of fucked up. Back in Europe, it looks like Republican Spain is going to win in Iberia, as well as we've got Bulgaria joining the Axis. Okay. It looks like Japan's doing pretty well so far in the East. I mean, it's going to be tough though. That is a pretty powerful Chinese united front. Perfect. And Turkey did in fact form the Sadabat Pact, which means it's only a matter of time before Iraq, Iran, and maybe Afghanistan joins in. Oh shit, we'll speak of the devil. Uh, well now I'm really hoping that these guys will eventually join that faction. At least before they die. I don't know how well this is gonna go. They only have nine divisions. Maybe they can hide in the mountain. No, hiding in the mountains is not not gonna work in this scenario. Well, already we have a unified South Asia. I believe this is all of South Asia. Anyways, let's see what they do next. Oh wait a second. I think we already know what they're gonna do next. Which this is gonna be interesting because Siam is at war with this Chinese warlord. So the question is, will this pull both of them into a faction? Yeah, all right, so Benny Lux is formed, which we gotta remember, the Dutch East Indies are now part of this team, as well as we've got the Polish faction. Okay, so please just do something. All right, wait a second, what the fuck is going on? You can't, you can't join this team. Well, that's a first. As well as since France also just joined the Allies, they got pulled into this Chinese war. Okay, well, I guess they can help support him from Vietnam. And of course, as always, everything is hitting the fan at once. We've got Siam also joining that team, while India joined the Axis. Which we gotta watch out for some of these small territories that the Europeans still control. Oh, nice job, Benito. Real, real dick move there. You know what? I, I don't think, I don't think the fascists need you in this campaign. Hitler's got a new friend now. Actually, he's just busting straight through this solo. I don't think he needs any help at all. As well as this fascist Indian dude is putting in work over here. He's about to capitulate Siam, and uh, soon the French territory will be gone. Of course, France is already dead, but I was thinking, you know, whenever Germany declares war on the Soviet Union, I, I completely forgot there's now a new border that the Indians are going to have to worry about. That may cause some problems, especially if uh, if they're already dealing with two different fronts. Pretty crazy to think it's only early 1939, and the faction map mode already looks like this. The Allies also found two new members with Bhutan and Tibet, but this isn't going to work out too well for them, I don't think. These Indian divisions are already getting close to Singapore. I, they just ran right through this colony. Obviously, the Chinese United Front have a non-aggression pact with the Axis, but um, they're going to be gone soon, and that is going to be a tough border for South Asia to deal with. Another declaration of war? Com come on, guys. That's a bit much even though Portugal is not going to be much of a threat. Well, there goes Tibet, which is great news. Now, you know, I'm kind of hoping for the fall of China, because whenever that happens, we get an immediate border between India and Japan. Luckily for the Axis, nothing much is happening back in Europe, although Hitler is probably going to go after Yugoslavia soon. And I guess uh, Hungary decided to join Benito. All right, well, you guys have fun on the B team. Oh, damn, it looks like Republican Spain is going democratic, which actually, that's not a big deal. I think the biggest fear right now is the Soviet Union. So there's going to be one less nation to worry about. And now I believe Churchill just declared war on Benilux. Are you an idiot? I would understand. It takes one to know one. I mean, maybe this is why they can kind of do whatever they want right now with the U.S. backing them. Oh, damn. And Hirohito just peaced out for all of China. So it begins the anime Bollywood Wars. Honestly, I would actually love to know what that would be like. Things are continuing to get more colorful in this part of Europe. We've got Yugoslavia and Bulgaria forming the Balkan Entente. I guess they can just leave their former faction. 
and Romania joined Italy. I'm definitely loving East Asia right now. This is looking pretty awesome. It's about to be 1940, and this has got to be one of the most unique conflicts we've seen over here. An allied Japan that controls all of China versus an Axis India. And Hirohito better get ready because uh, the Indians are coming for that ass. There's no other way around it. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm really enjoying just how strange this game has been. We now finally have my own personal wet dream of Adolf versus Benito. I don't really know how that happened. Oh my god, this is so much worse. We've got a Chilean Axis, a Roman Peru, and Brazil thinks it's part of the fucking Balkans. Yeah, can we get Gandhi out here just to nuke this whole continent? No, but in all seriousness, this is classic Road to 56 for ya. I'm so glad to be back in this mod. Yeah, and India's putting in work over here. I don't know if Japan is just not prepared to fight two big-ass wars. That That's that's likely the problem. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but we do have the Soviet Union attacking Poland, which means Germany won't be getting any of this land. He's gonna be distracted, of course, by the South. It's also awesome to see the Dutch East Indies actually do something. They're fighting a whole bunch of enemies over here. Oh crap, peace deal. I don't, I don't even know what this is for. Romania, Hungary, Peru, Italy, all taking lands, what the hell? Yugoslavia, Bulgaria, oh, okay, Balkan Union just died? Or Balkan Entente? Holy crap, that is, that is the sexiest Peru we've ever seen. I I'm impressed, they're fascist. Oh man, they're going democratic though. And Europe is looking really strange. It's actually up to Italy, Italy could maybe take out Hitler here with the help of Czechoslovakia. It's crazy to see these American divisions try to come help support Japan from an invading Indian force. Yeah, the British are even here too. Here's another peace deal for Poland this time. So obviously Stalin took a bunch of things, just puppeted most of it. I guess Italy got some land as well. Okay, well the Nazis have a much, much better grasp over Europe now. They've taken out Czechoslovakia, and I think Italy's up next. This is still gonna be a pretty tough situation though. We've seen Hitler collapse multiple times when he's in this position. Oh man, and the Indian AI have just broken through. Okay, I think it's only a matter of time before the Chinese are dead. I think ultimately what this video is gonna come down to is what Stalin does. Does he go to war with the Axis or the Allies? Actually, he could go to war with Romania. That wouldn't be a huge deal, but it it would help both factions. More chaos in South America, as Argentina also joins the Axis. So, um, I actually think they're gonna be doing a little bit better. I don't think Peru's that powerful. And the Soviets have just made their decision. All right, well this is gonna help out everyone except democracies. Yeah, I don't know what else the AI could have done. I mean, who else were they gonna join in the first place? I, I guess this was their only option. Finally, we have a peace deal for Italy. 59 states going to Germany, only Six going to India, that's kind of weird. And a bunch of people died. No big surprise there. Those are some really, really interesting German borders, uh, I will say that. Uh, now they just have to focus on the Allies and hope that, well this, yeah, this whole thing works out. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Can we just take a moment to thank the thousands of Hindi gods from Mexico? Whenever we have to deal with the capitulation of both Canada and the US, it's always the, the drug lords that can come through for us and take out those two nations. So I guess we can expect the next peace deal. I feel like this whole fucking video has just been peace deals, but this will be obviously the biggest one yet. Treaty of Nanning, all right, wow. Obviously a lot of territory was just exchanged. Surprise India only got 31 states. I mean, they still got more than the Soviet Union though. And just look at how many people died or were puppeted. That, I'm, I'm still scrolling and we still got a while. Nope, we're gonna stay, okay, there we go. And, hey, at least uh, Sierra Leone was liberated. Ah yes, that, that makes it all worth it. India decided to just take the entire Chinese coastline while the middle part is under Mao's control, who's a puppet of the Soviet Union. They also got some Japanese territory, uh, and that's not all. They got some stuff down here. They now have Indian emus. Oh, but this is the most important. In this universe, we're gonna have a Bollywood Lord of the Rings. I honestly can't think of a better way to ruin my childhood. And I guess, you know, Mexico didn't really do all that much. Uh, they really just provide a landing spot for Stalin. Anyways, we have a Soviet-controlled America and Canada. Well, there we go. What is this, like World War IV? World War IV, uh, whatever. I, the communists are clearly gonna win. Yeah, the Germans were just not prepared for this at all. Joseph is taking new territory, like, almost every hour. As well as, unfortunately, so is India. Damn. Well, you guys had a really good run, I, I, I will say that, and you'll probably cause a little bit of a distraction, but you're not going to be able to save the Nazis. Surprisingly, I don't even think the Indians have enough divisions for this war. Seems like the Soviets were just 
on steroids this entire campaign. Well, anyways, this is clearly going to be a common turn controlled world, and uh, I, I think it's safe to say that just the Germans and the super powerful Indian Empire alone is not enough to take over everything, at least. But uh, either way, you know, I'm sure you guys have made Apu very proud. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. And as always, big thanks to my Patreon supporters. Franco is thick, Leather Daddy Lennon, Matthew Rembish, Free Cruz, Swiss Argo, Jake Paul's My Daddy, Tyler, Jason Wright, Sean Spillman, Jen's Love Disc, Matthew King, Ruse for Vacation, Matthew E, Jungkook's Bay, Elijah Senpai, Wyone, and Elfie C.